Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be talking about sleep disorders related to biological clock. What do we mean with biological clock? You probably heard that our brain has biological clock, which is the master clock controlling our circadian rhythm. It's actually a group of cells which is located in our brain, specifically in hypothalamus area. This is very important master clock controlling our circadian rhythm. What I mean with this, that this is the clock or the center responsible to tell us, now it's seven o'clock in the morning, it's time to get up. It's eight o'clock in the morning, it's time to go to work. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, it's time to get your lunch. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, it's try to rest a little bit. It's 6 p.m., you probably need to do a little more shopping. It's 10 p.m., it's time for going to sleep. So this type of rhythm on a daily basis while we're awake is being regulated and it's being affected by external stimulant to us. So when the light is on, we know it's daytime. When light is gone, we know it's night. It's time to go to sleep. So this rhythm of external stimulant with this internal master clock, is called circadian rhythm. It's very important for our wakefulness time and sleep time at the same time. If there's any disturbance in this center, this will be reflected negatively on our sleep and our awake. Types of those sleep disorders we're talking about, for example, delayed phase syndrome. What I mean with delayed phase syndrome, the whole biological clock being shifted. Instead of going to sleep around 11 p.m., 12 midnight, I cannot sleep until three o'clock in the morning. And instead of getting up around seven to eight o'clock in the morning, I cannot until it's 10 o'clock in the morning. So all my biological clocks being shifted, and this is called delayed phase syndrome. One way we can help to correct this one is exposing our eyes to the light, the regular lights in general. This will be very helpful to shift this back to the normal rhythm. The other types of disorders is early phase syndromes. We see this in elderly usually. It's around eight o'clock, nine o'clock p.m. and the person is very much sleepy, he will sleep, and around three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, he will wake up and ready to go. So this delay and advance is related to the disturbance in this circadian rhythm and can be corrected usually by eye exposure to the right light on the right time. Some other patients, they have complete disturbance, especially those shift worker. They usually, sometimes they work in daytime, sometimes they work in the afternoon, sometimes they work at night, and they will have frequent disturbance in this circadian rhythm, in addition to fatigue during daytime, even if they're not working, they cannot sleep well, or the same quality of sleep if they sleep during daytime when they're working at night shift. One of the advices we tell those patients, in general, after the end of your shift and while you're going home, maybe wearing sunglasses may prevent you of exposing your eyes to the light. And that may help you when you get home to fall asleep. And be sure in your room to be dark enough, quiet enough, comfortable enough to get the right deep sleep. Maybe notify your family not to bother you, not to call you to your mobile, not to wake you up until you get enough hours of rest. And if you are assigned for another night shift, maybe you need to get a short nap before going, like 15, 20 minutes, two hours before your scheduled working hours. This will be very helpful for you to rest and restore your body energy in general. Thank you for your attention.